To draw the Lewis structure for BaF2, barium fluoride, we'll write Ba, and then we'll put F on either side. Barium, that's a metal, and then fluorine, that's a nonmetal. So we have a metal bonded to a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. With ionic compounds, the valence electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal or to the nonmetals. So barium, that's in group two on the periodic table. It has two valence electrons. And then fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So we said that in ionic compound, the metal, that transfers valence electrons to the nonmetal. So the barium transfers one electron here, and that completes the octet on the fluorine. The other electron transfers to this fluorine, completing the octet on this fluorine. So the barium, it's lost two valence electrons. Electrons, they're negative. So the barium's lost two negative charges. So now it has a two plus charge. The fluorines, each one of those has gained an electron. So it has a negative charge. We should write brackets around the negative ions. And you'll also see brackets sometimes written around the positive ion. The reason we draw these brackets here is to show that those two electrons that the barium transferred to the fluorines, those were transferred. They were lost by the barium and gained by the fluorine. So we're not showing electrons being shared here like we would in a covalent bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for BaF2, barium fluoride. Thanks for watching.